Folks, it is with an extremely heavy heart that I share the news that actress Betty Lynn has died. Betty and Ron Howard were the last two survivors from the principal cast of The Andy Griffith Show. Now only little Opie is left. She passed away peacefully Saturday night after a brief illness. She was 95 years old. When I think about Thelma Lou, the character that Betty Lynn played on The Andy Griffith Show, you know, she really was the perfect girlfriend for Barney Fife. She had just the right amount of spunk and sass. She was the epitome of cute, and for the life of me, even as a kid, I couldn't figure out how Barney had gotten so darn lucky. End of the day, I think Thelma Lou was such a wonderful character because much of Betty Lynn's own personality was present on our TV screens each and every week that she appeared on the show. Even before The Andy Griffith Show, Betty wasn't a newcomer to the entertainment industry. She had been performing on television and in movies since she was a teen. During the late 40s, Betty was in movies with the likes of Betty Davis and Maureen O'Hara. And in the 50s, she transitioned to television and found steady work throughout that decade. But it was The Andy Griffith Show where Betty was able to play a role that she found immensely enjoyable. And she knew that she was doing something very special. The chemistry between Betty and Don Knotts was undeniable. And while Andy moved from girlfriend to girlfriend during those early seasons, once Thelma Lou came on the scene, I think most of us knew that she was the one for Barney. And just like before The Andy Griffith Show, Betty found steady work on TV shows during the 70s and 80s on shows like The Mod Squad, Barnaby Jones, and Little House on the Prairie. However, her greatest role during that time was 1986's return to Mayberry television movie, where we finally got to see Thelma Lou and Barney tie the knot. A critical plot point in the movie, it was just so much fun to see Betty playing Thelma Lou again on the screen. After retiring from the entertainment industry during the early 90s, Betty would be a frequent participant at Mount Airy's Mayberry Days. And when she was in Mount Airy, Betty would often comment how much the little North Carolina town actually felt like Mayberry. In fact, she loved it so darn much that she ended up moving there and living there in Andy's hometown for the remainder of her life. In 2016, Betty received North Carolina's highest awards for its citizens called the Order of the Longleaf Pine. Previous recipients have been Maya Angelou, Michael Jordan, Dale Earnhardt, Billy Graham, and of course, Andy Griffith. You know, this lady really was one of a kind. All right, now it's your turn to celebrate the life of Betty Lynn and share your memories in the comments section. While you're at it, if you found this video interesting, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly television from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.